direct pricing. From Channel 3 Eyewitness News, coverage you can count on. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 6. The challenge force is not to be used without the authorized personnel. The man is in critical condition tonight after dangling from a ropes course by his feet for 48 hours. Good evening, I'm Greg Glover and for David Carroll. And I'm Cindy Sexton. It happened on a ropes course at Greenway Acres off Gansdor Road. The man, who is 57 years old, was finally rescued yesterday by a hiker. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Megan Boatwright investigates all new at 6. Megan? Cindy, this accident is actually raising a lot of questions. Melvin Davis told police his foot became entangled in the rope when he fell, but the wall he was climbing wasn't made to climb with rope. There isn't even any rope there, and not to mention he wasn't supposed to be climbing the wall at all. Anytime that you go in the woods, I think you ought to have somebody else with you. Zane Fox is the park supervisor at Greenway Acres in Chattanooga. Today he's checking out the area where a climber nearly died after a fall. There's lots of signs, stay out, do not trespass. The signs are obvious as you hike up the secluded trail. Even on the wall itself, two signs warn people to stay off without supervision. Uh, smaller up here is just your typical kind of utility cordage. This rope is similar to the one 57-year-old Melvin Davis used while climbing the wall alone Tuesday. It's certainly not intended for the use of supporting body weight. But that's what it did for two days after Davis became entangled and fell off the backside of the wall. Philip Grimes with Outdoor Chattanooga also hiked up the trail to check out the challenge course this morning. There's, there are no ropes actually used at that particular element. Grimes says Davis brought the rope himself, ignored signs to stay away, and began to climb. The security platform appeared to have been broken off. A hiker spotted the man yesterday afternoon, helped him get down safely, and called police. He was taken to Erlanger, where he's listed in critical condition. The trails are maintained by the city and open to the public, but the courses are operated by a company called the Adventure Guild. Today they issued a statement saying, we are currently investigating the matter to find out exactly how the incident happened. We wish the gentleman a swift recovery. However, he did not have permission from the Adventure Guild to use the course. Grimes says the city is also taking a closer look. There just seems to be a lot of unanswered questions. And doctors can't discuss Mr. Davis' condition, but one doctor did tell us it's a miracle that he survived. It was cold, wet, and windy on Tuesday, which can cause hypothermia. Hanging upside down for that amount of time would seriously restrict blood flow to the lower body and could lead to amputation. Live in the newsroom, Megan Boatwright, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Megan. A ringled football player was picked up this morning on a marijuana charge. Jermichael Tillery is a senior linebacker. He's charged with possession and distribution of marijuana. He turned himself into the Catoosa County Jail this morning. His arrest was the result of a three-week investigation by the Lookout Mountain Drug Task Force. The Bledsoe County football team is in shock tonight after a player was critically injured in practice. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Gordon Boyd joins us now with live coverage. Gordon. Greg, 16-year-old Kanan Boring has been in Erlanger's intensive care unit since being flown in last night. Neither his family nor the hospital have issued a statement, but a close friend says that Kanan has a brain injury, either suffered or made evident after a hard tackle during practice. Yesterday, Kanan's been a kicker, linebacker, safety for the Warriors this year, 2-1 and one this season, and getting more reps for his hard work. Former Vol Houston Thomas says he's the player anybody would want in his gym or on his team. He's been training Kanan sometimes as early as 5.30 in the morning to make him stronger, faster, tougher. They said it was like a perfect form tackle, but for, for whatever reason, it may just been a, just a freak accident of the uh, injury that may, I don't know what actually triggered this, but uh, it was just maybe a pre-existing thing. It's, you know, it's just hard to see a young man, you know, strong and healthy one day than, than over in the condition he's in now. Kanan's coach and principal have referred all questions to Brent Bledsoe County's school superintendent, who's not talking, nor was his condition addressed at school today. Kanan's extended family is large, none of them reachable by phone today. All were told at Erlinger with him. Thomas asks that you keep Kanan and his family in your thoughts and prayers. Live at the studio, Gordon Boyd, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Gordon. Continuing coverage of Monday's historic rainfall, tonight EPB says most power has been restored in the Tennessee Valley as of late 
afternoon. They were down to 200 outages. Monday's historic rain also brought heavy winds. In a 24-hour period, we set a record total rainfall, nearly 10 inches. And later that night, fierce winds caused trees to topple across the area. At the peak, 59,000 customers were in the dark. EPB brought in contracting crews from across the south who worked overtime to get everyone back online. And take a look at the storm by the numbers. Hamilton County's 911 center says it took nearly 6,000 calls as the rains fell. About 2,700 calls came in on Monday, 3,000 the following day. The average number of calls for 24 hours is 2,000. The center says 32,000 homes were affected. One bit of fallout from Tropical Storm Lee, potential contamination. State environmentalists are closely watching the Hawassi River in Bradley County. Tuesday's record rainfall caused mercury to spill into the water from the Olin chemical plant. They've stopped production for now, say they've made preparations ahead of time, but Olin says the water treatment system could not support the volume of rain. Olin says it's working closely with the National Response Center and TDEC. We're following up tonight on a three on your side story about a storm victim who says a contractor ripped her off. The Better Business Bureau says she's not the only victim. Here's Channel 3 Eyewitness News anchor Callie Starnes with the update. Callie. Well, Greg, Eddie Hines of H&H &H Construction returned our phone calls today. He claims he finished the job and doesn't deserve the F rating the BBB has given his business. But an East Ridge woman says her home is proof she's been scammed. My gutters are still falling down and uh, you know there's still a lot that's that needs to be repaired. April storms badly damaged Pat Jim Goshian's home. When the insurance company paid up she hired H&H &H Construction. Well I trusted him because he said my neighbor was like family mm -hmm. and that was good enough. Pat says she spent $4,000 on materials and gave Eddie Hines of H&H &H $3,000 to re-roof her home. She says his crew left the job undone. I've texted a dozen times, I've called a dozen times. Um, now when I try to text him, uh, it says invalid number. According to East Ridge City Records, Hines was not permitted to do roof work in East Ridge. And so there are no, I guess, permits on file then for this gentleman and this property? No, there's not. We spoke to Hines by phone today. He says he was unaware he needed a permit to work in East Ridge, but claims he is licensed and finished Pat's roof. They had to tear this out and replace it. But Pat says the new materials she purchased are gone. A broken fan and sloppy work were left behind. She says a new estimate shows it will take $1,500 to fix what Hines broke. I'm in a real mess. Eastridge Code Enforcement says it's ultimately up to the homeowner to make sure a contractor is both permitted and licensed by asking to see paperwork before the work begins. We checked with the Better Business Bureau. They have given H&H &H Construction an F rating after other people have filed similar complaints. After our story aired last night, Eddie Hines responded to the BBB saying he had been out of town and unable to receive those complaints which were mailed to his home. Live in the studio, Callie Starnes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Callie. If you have a story for three on your side, give us a call or send us an email. Send that to newstips at wrcbtv.com. A former bail bondsman is going to prison for five years for his role in a meth ring. Jamie Michael was arrested last year shortly after he was profiled in another case in which he kicked in the door of the wrong home in Red Bank. At his sentencing, Michael said he would turn his experience into a positive one and educate kids about the dangers of drugs. Another bondsman, Clarence Brogdon, received a slightly lower sentence for his role. Investigators say they've received some credible tips about a sketch they released. The GBI released a sketch of a man who may know something about a church arson in Walker County. Garrett's Chapel Church burned to the ground in July. Investigators say the man they want to talk to is not a suspect or even a person of interest. They just think he may have information. If the drawing looks familiar to you, call Walker County Emergency Services. Coming up, remembering 9-11. Today's high school seniors were in second grade as these scenes played out 10 years ago, but Hickson High students will never forget. We're here at the boathouse 
And uh, this is right on Amnicola Highway with our Sky Watchers. We're having a dinner with the Sky Watchers. You're going to meet one of the Sky Watchers you probably never met before. And we've got that seven-day forecast, so don't go away. Paying the most cash for your gold, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds. Try Arby's new Craven Chicken Sandwich. Crispy prime cut chicken with a jolt of zesty Craven sauce. Get a Craven Chicken Combo for just $4.99. Arby's, it's good mood food. There's still a place where there are more friends than franchises. Where Mother Nature always has a seat at the table. Where there's enough cool stuff to keep even your kids entertained. And where family vacations have a funny way of turning into family traditions. Maybe it's time you created some memories with a trip to Gatlinburg. We have a feeling it won't be your last. Out of nearly 6,000 hospitals in the U.S., only six have vast expertise with key new technologies to save stroke patients' lives. And of those elite six hospitals, one is right here at Erlanger. It's just one of many breakthroughs in neuroscience you won't find at any other area hospital because the teaching hospital is where medical firsts happen first. The Erlanger Health System. We practice what we teach. Give Chattanooga options and we'll weigh the pluses and minuses. Pluses like a stunning picture, the nation's fastest internet, 24-7 customer service, and local dollars stay here, boosting our economy. We'll also weigh the minuses, like on-again, off-again pricing and all-day waits for service. When you give Chattanooga options, we make the smart move every time. EPB Fiber Optics. Let's make the next smart move together. If you are struggling in this tough economy but need a car, WRCB wants you to know there is a way. If you have a job and a down payment, call 1-800-START-OVER. Regardless of your credit history, you deserve that dependable car, truck, or SUV. There are hundreds of models to choose from. Call 1-800-START-OVER right now. Don't wait. It's your chance to buy a car you can afford. Call 1-800-START-OVER or go to WRCBTV.com. Click on 1-800-START-OVER and fill out a simple application. Make the call and drive today. <laughs> so sweet. Kind <gasps> and rich. What? Really? And really, really cool. So you guys want to meet him? Yes. yes. <laughs> Find your perfect match in the Zaxby's Strawberry Cheesecake Milkshake. Hand blended with a flavor of creamy strawberry cheesecake and topped with whipped cream. Try one today because it's only around for a limited time. Zaxby's indescribably good. It's the yeah. best relationship yeah. I've ever had. <laughs> Channel 3 Storm Alert Weather, sponsored by The Barn Nursery. What time is it? It's fall planting time. Now go play in the yard. From Channel 3 Eyewitness News, coverage you can count on. You're watching Cindy Sexton, David Carroll, and Chief Meteorologist Paul Barris. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 6. Hickson High School will not forget a moving tribute this morning to those who died on 9-11 and the brave men and women who defended our country against the terrorists that day. The oldest high school students were in second grade 10 years ago. They have vague memories and class president Cody Damewood said it's important to preserve the memories in the younger generation. We realize that it is very dramatic and that what happened to this country with the terrorist attack unified us. This morning's ceremony included music from Hickson's talented orchestra and choir and a presentation by the Color Guard. Our David Carroll gave a beautiful address and served as MC. You can see more at WRCBTV.com. Local emergency responders will hold a community tribute on Sunday. Today, firefighters practice the raising of a giant American flag. That flag was loaned by the Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Firefighters used two large ladder trucks behind the training center on Amnicola Highway to make sure all goes well on Sunday. Dozens of fire, police, rescue, and EMS department personnel will participate. Sunday's event starts at 1.30 with a march from Miller Plaza 
to the riverfront. A woman who now calls Chattanooga home was changed forever on that day in 2001. Jessica Thomas was in Brooklyn when the World Trade Center was attacked. The Pennsylvania native lost three close friends when the Twin Towers fell. To her, the 10th anniversary is a chance for Americans to remember how many lives were lost. But it's so important. It's so important. And I almost feel like, I almost feel like I have to force myself to continuously watch it. Thomas says she's planning a family trip with her children to Ground Zero, where they'll learn what happened to America on September 11th, 2001. That attack happened on a day much like today. Blue skies, 80 degrees. See how the weather will hold for Sunday's Remembrance. Weather coverage you can count on. Paul Barris is next. David Davenport bought Shoney's personally to return it to its glory days. How's he doing that? Come taste for yourself. Try Shoney's fresh new menu now with select entrees for just $5 every Friday. $5 Fridays only at Shoney's. experience the success of the healthcare industry without drawing blood or doing patient care. That's right, healthcare facilities need non-medical personnel to perform important functions in management, scheduling, insurance, billing, and more. Virginia College School of Business and Health at Chattanooga will work with you to ensure your success in the classroom so you can succeed on the job. Call, click, or visit today. Virginia College School of Business and Health at Chattanooga. Your success starts here. For a great vacation, you can't beat Mississippi. Sure you can. It's called Louisiana. Hang on, Florida's where folks want to be. That's only until they get a taste of Alabama hospitality. We can't agree on which state's best, but we can agree on one thing. Wherever you vacation in the Gulf, you'll have a great time. Great seafood, beautiful beaches, and fun for the whole family. We've got intimate bed and breakfast right on the water. Cafes with views of the Gulf. Go blue water fishing. Grab a kayak. Or just enjoy the world's best weather. And soak up the world's best sun. We've gone all out to make this year the best ever. And we're 100% open for business. You mean 100% open for fun here in the best part of the Gulf. Louisiana. Florida. Alabama. Mississippi. This could go on for a while. These days, filling up is becoming more and more expensive, so do it less often in a Ford. Ford offers seven models with best-in-class fuel economy, and no one offers more vehicles with 40 MPGs. There are many reasons to drive a Ford, but going farther in one may be the best yet. Now, lease a fuel-efficient Fusion for just $1.99 a month. For more great offers, visit shopfordnow.com today. I'm Eric Buchanan. You have questions. My team has answers. Go to ericsanswers.com and we can help you fight for your disability benefits. David Davenport bought Shoney's personally to return it to its glory days. How's he doing that? Come taste for yourself. Try Shoney's fresh new menu now with select entrees for just $5 every Friday. $5 Fridays only at Shoney's. All right, we're out here over at the, uh, on Amnicola Highway over at the boathouse, the restaurant, the boathouse. Boy, folks, they do a really good job with the food. And we've got our sky watchers out here, too. One of the sky watchers uh, from Cleveland, a uh, real big city <laughs> in the Tennessee Valley. It's Linda Ursum. Linda, yes. tell everybody what you do, first of all. Well, first off, I work at Cleveland High School in the cafeteria. Uh -huh. I'm a cafeteria lady. So we have, we have uh, uh, sky watchers that do all different types of jobs. I work at Taco Bell, too. All right. I'm a Taco Bell lady. So I'm you're into food, huh? Yes, I'm into, well, yeah. So how's the food here? <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> I've been eating and still am. Now tell everybody what side of Cleveland you live on, because oh. there's so many different sides. Yeah, yeah, I live up north end of town. I live up by Tinsley Park. Oh, okay. Close, real close to Tinsley. And out of this last storm, how much rain did you get out of it? Well, by the time we were all done, it was like 13 and 4 tenths, maybe. Wow. Like, we had a lot, a lot more north. Lots of, lots of, lots of rain out there. there. Well, I want to thank you for coming today sure. and hope you have a good time. Well, I enjoyed it. Thank All you. All right. You brought your son with you, too? Yes, That's fantastic. I did. I did. All right. We're going to take a look right now at the Friday night football forecast. Those temperatures around 77 at 7 o'clock this evening should be about 66 at 10 o'clock when the game is over with. Things are looking really good. Uh, the regional satellite radar goes into motion. 
And uh, most of that rain, uh, as a matter of fact, all that rain is well off to the north. We have a little bit of cloudiness still hanging across the Tennessee Valley. Uh, but those clouds are slowly, slowly dissipating, and they'll be totally gone later on tonight. The visible satellite photo is going to go into motion. You're going to see a lot more clouds when this starts off. And again, most of those clouds hanging north of the Tennessee Valley, uh, pushing off into the Blue Ridge Mountains. And uh, then they're pretty much out of here. And the current temperature across the Tennessee Valley, pretty much in the 70s right now. Oh, there's the, okay. We're going to get a little delay there. There we go. 79 degrees right now in the city. And that's it's about 80 degrees, I think, for the high temperature. Dew point's still very low at 51. All right, the regional temperatures now across the area. We've got 79 again in Chattanooga, 82 Memphis, and that's some of the temperatures that we're going to see for tomorrow. And the uh, microcast is going to go into motion here. And with microcast, what we're going to show you is uh, what's going to be happening across the valley over the uh, next uh, three days. And most of the time, it's going to be sunny. There'll be a little bit of cloudiness off to the north. See some of that green popping off to the north. That's some rain showers north of Pikeville, north of Athens. I don't think it's going to get in here, but we may see a few more clouds coming up in a Monday as a little wave moves by. So your forecast for tonight looks pretty good. Again, Friday night football, fine. 57, just a few clouds for tomorrow. Highs near 83 with partly sunny skies and a westerly wind. That's tomorrow's forecast. And then for tomorrow night, we'll see fair skies. It should be cool with low temperatures near 57 degrees. And on the three-day forecast, uh, it's going to be splendid. Again, coming up on Sunday, 84. Monday, about 85. And the Channel 3 Storm Alert seven-day forecast looks really good. Those temperatures uh, in the low 60s at, at the highest. And temperatures uh, getting a little bit cooler into Thursday and Friday. So everybody enjoy your weekend. I want to thank all the sky watchers that weren't able to come today. I know a lot of them wanted to come and they couldn't do it. I want to thank them for everything they do for us all year long. And these get-togethers are just wonderful. Thank, thank you, Paul. Yeah, thank you for us, too. Yeah. And thank you on behalf of the bands, cheerleaders, football mm -hmm. players, coaches, parents, and the guys who have to cover these yeah. uh, football games tonight for that forecast we tonight. No rain. <laughs> the balls and the dogs have very different mindsets as we enter week two of the college yeah. season. And Keith Colley's here now to talk more about mm -hmm. it. Uh, a different Dooley. feeling, yeah, around both games. Derek Dooley just hoping his team shows some improvement. He's hoping for a win, but Mark Richt, well, he really needs a win down in Athens. And Mother Nature caused problems for Tyner ahead of tonight's game of the week against McCauley. Find out if that early week rain left the Rams hanging out to dry. Coming up next in sports. Hey, buddy, Holco Exteriors is the number one remodeling company in the tri-state area, thanks to our customers. It's an excellent product. It's just very well made. They do a wonderful presentation. And third, they're, they're in the price point. The Hoco Experience is a great product, great professionalism, and great craftsmanship. We wouldn't be doing this commercial if we didn't think Hoco did a superior job for us. Hey, buddy, call Hoco or click callhoco.com. Every great tailgate begins at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Welcome to Tailgate U. Let me show you how to get it done. This grill is mobile enough for home and away games. Roll it, lift it, and celebrate the win. For a guy that didn't spend much time on the bench, you sure know how to pick a comfortable chair, Emmett. It's all about comfort and style, rain or shine. Get tailgating apparel and gear for an everyday low price. I'm talking about plastic. No business cards, no room keys. Ray Ray, you know the deal. Wall Street, come on. What are you guys go. doing? Playing credit card roulette. If your car gets picked, you buy lunch. Ooh, that's chancy. Where are you going? McDonald's. I'm in. Even if you lose, you still win at McDonald's. For a limited time, get 10 crispy, tender, and juicy chicken McNuggets for only $1.99. That's what winning tastes like. I love winning. He knows you lost, right? It's a new day at Food Lion, where you get your lion's share because we've lowered prices on another 6,000 items and added hundreds of value price store brands. We've made MVP specials even better and created one price for everything, low. Whole seedless green grapes, 99 cents a pound and whole ribeye, just $5.99 a pound. Get your lion's share at Food Lion. 
Unclaimed freight notice this weekend at American Freight. Seven piece living room packages that include a sofa, love seat, coffee table, two end tables, and two designer lamps. You get all seven pieces for only $398 complete. 100% approved free layaway. Bring your pickup truck, fan, same day delivery. Come right to the loading docks this weekend only. At American Freight 6242 Perimeter Drive, 855 7911. In honor of Zaxby's tantalizing new strawberry cheesecake milkshake, we will be dancing. The milkshake tango. The new strawberry cheesecake milkshake, hand blended with a flavor of creamy strawberry cheesecake and topped with whipped cream. Try one today because it's only around for a limited time. Zaxby's indescribably good. Mm, there's still some at the bottom. Join us Sunday, September the 11th for the 6th Annual Pearl White Gala. The event features performances by Kim and other great artists. And you're helping provide services for seniors across our area. Taking care of those who once took care of you. Log on for tickets. Well, early in the week, Mother Nature threatened to wash away week three of Friday Night Football, but we are now drained, dry, and ready to roll across the Tennessee Valley. Paul Shaheen is at Tyner, where the Rams will host McCauley in our Game of the Week. What's going on there, Paul? Keith, you know, McCauley is one of those teams that you really need a full week to prepare for, especially given their tough opponents. They're battle-tested. Unfortunately, Mother Nature didn't allow the Rams that this week. Just two days of practice. On the other hand, well, for McCauley, all is well when you do have a uh, turf field. Mother Nature, not an issue. Still, the Rams say, no big deal. Well, we're pretty used to practicing in bad weather. Um, uh, T's not a, not a believer in going inside unless you just have to. I heard a story one time where a lightning bolt struck and he moved, he moved to the other field. So, Unfortunately, there was nothing Tyner head coach Wayne Turner could have done to weather this week's storm. More than 10 inches of rain forced school to close and left the Rams with just two practices to get ready for McCauley. In true Turner form, he says no big deal. We're going to do what we can do, and I mean, you know, it's, it's late in the season. It's not like it's the first game of the season, so, you know, we know what to expect and what we've got to do. However, at McCauley, it really has been no big deal. The brunt of the rain came on Monday, a day they always use to watch film. On Tuesday, their turf handled the rain with ease. Blue Tornado first year head coach Bubba Simmons says this week has been no different from any other. We're just fortunate and thankful that, you know, we have a school that can provide those types of facilities and our boys can go out there and they can work and they can prepare, uh, you know, whether it's raining or whether it's dry. We've had a good week of practice and preparation for Tyner this week. So all things considered, McCauley, given the week, may have the advantage over Tyner today. But keep in mind, Tyner won last year. McCauley could be out for some revenge tonight. We'll have all your highlights and post-game sound coming up tonight at 11 in Friday Night Football. Live at Tyner, Paul Shaheen, Channel 3, Eyewitness Sports. All right, thanks, Paul. Our game of the week is one of about 10 games we're hoping to get to tonight. That includes Walker Valley's visit to Red Bank and Central's trip up to Cleveland. The Bucks, top ranked in the state, will visit Howard as well. And Georgia, Ringgold, hosts Pickens County at Finley Stadium. And Ridgeland will host Cedartown. We'll have it all for you and much more coming up tonight, Friday Night Football, Week 3 at 11:10. Now, a big Saturday of college football also on tap for tomorrow, including what expects to be a shootout at Neyland Stadium. Derek Dooley's Vols trying to devise ways to slow down a high-powered Cincinnati spread that scored 72 points in last week's win over Austin P. The UT defense got a taste of the spread in last week's opener against Montana, but knows the Bearcats bring far more to the table. Dooley believes his team will show improvement from week one to week two, but he just hopes it shows enough. This will be a true second game. You're playing a uh, an opponent who has offensive skill as good as anybody and can score points as good as anybody you'll play. And it's going to be that spread up tempo, so it's going to be a challenge, you know. I'd rather not play these two kind of teams this early, but that's what we face. Now the stakes continue to grow around Georgia's home opener with South Carolina tomorrow. One UGA athletic board member told the Atlanta Journal-Constitution today the group is worried about the state of the football program, but they have faith the situation will work itself out. Mark Rick says his dogs are closer than any disgruntled masses may think, and he hopes they can prove it tomorrow.
We need to, again, uh, you know, play as hard as we did a week ago, play as physical as we did a week ago, but, but just, you know, execute better. We just got to, the little things that make the difference in winning and losing, we've got to do better. And don't forget tomorrow, Mox home opener, 6 o'clock at Finley Stadium against Jacksonville State. A big game, first ever meeting between two top 25 teams during the regular season at Finley Stadium. Get your tickets early. It's a big day here in Chattanooga as well. That about does it for sports. Friday night football at 11. Now back over to the desk. And it's a big night in Chattanooga as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of good action on Friday night football all around the area. Last night we went on late because of NFL. Tonight we'll be right on time with even more football for your enjoyment. Please join and us. Bands of the week, Bands fans, the week. fans, everything else. Yeah. We got it all. <laughs> I always enjoy watching it on my comfortable sofa. <laughs> <laughs> she really regrets not doing the 11 anymore, oh, I well. tell you. <laughs> anyway, you all have a great weekend. Paul tells us it's going to be splendid.